Hi everybody, Llewellyn with Warren to Whimsy here. This is the last live of a five part series that we've been doing all week and I wanna thank you everybody who joined me this week. Yesterday we finished up our land on the bottom here. I know you guys, most of you, or quite a few of you followed along for that. And today we're just gonna be sealing it. So I let it dry overnight and I'm just gonna be going over it with the clear coat flat from Dixie Well. So I've just been, I've had so much fun painting this piece this week. It's been a blast. And this is my last step usually. So I went through after our live last night and I did add like just, I just kind of touched up the sides and got any places where um, some, you know, where I missed with the paint and I made sure everything was 100% and I painted these little feet down here. So today we are going to be clear coating. Okay, so this is my um, just the flat top coat that we're doing today. And another thing that I do before I top coat is I'll usually go through and I'll go around the edges and lightly sand them because I paint with the drawers in the piece because of, you know, it's a painting, so I kind of have to. So I will go around the edges and sand off any extra paint. And then I also, um, I usually do like a really thin coat on, around the edges of the drawer as long as I have room. If not, if it's not showing, then I don't worry about it. But this one, I did have quite a bit of room. It slides really easy, so I wasn't worried about it all scratching off. So yeah, um, I've got my brush, I've got my clear coat, and it's just a milky color, but it will dry clear. Um, and you can, I usually will do, usually a minimum of three coats on my pieces, just to make sure, because I spend so much time on them, I want them to be well sealed. And this is reapply after one hour. So it takes about an hour to dry. And I just get a little bit on my brush here. I don't, I don't dump it all the way in. And then just put a nice, thin, even coat on my piece. And make sure I get all those little edges. I haven't shown them the sides yet, but and then I like to do one long, like smooth stroke after it's done. Uh, this is not the Gator Hide. This is just the regular flat clear coat. Gator Hide's a little more picky to dry or to work with because it dries so quickly, but this gives me a bit of time to go back in there and just do one long swipe after I put it on there. You don't wanna overwork it too much, but it looks pretty good. And then I go around the edges and make sure I don't have any drips and underneath. And if your drawers are really tight, I just, I'll run my finger along the edge just to make sure there's no excess. Which these aren't too tight. And you can see that that brightens it right up and it will seal. Okay, and I'm gonna pull out my next drawer. Um, I'll save all these little edges for later so I don't have to worry about it right now. And we're gonna do the same. I'm just, this had a little bit of like, it has some grooves in there. There was a little tiny, sort of like a carved area. So I'm just gonna go up and down to get in the grooves. And then one nice long even coat. All right. So yeah, flat clear coat, pretty straightforward. I'm just using the Dixie Belle mini brush, the flat one. And I like to use one brush for my clear coats just to not, um, not to mix them up. Just makes it easy. Then you don't get paint in your clear coat ever. You don't have little pieces of paint falling out into it. Especially if you're doing a piece that's white or black, you'll see those if I mix my brushes up <laughs> occasionally. And for this one, um, a lot of times if I'm doing a really smooth finish, I will sand a little bit before and before I do my last coat of paint. And you can sand lightly in between them to get a really smooth finish. But for my painting pieces, of course, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just make sure there's no big, you know, big lumps on there. 
but like this one we did dripping and you know my painting pieces are going to have a little more texture we're just going over it with the flat clear coat which really i wanted to show because it brings out all of these colors and just sort of brightens them i am using the dixie bell flat clear coat i use that or I will also use like the, I've used the satin before. I like that one as well. For a little bit of a more shiny finish, you've used the satin. And then the flat is a really matte finish once it dries and it soaks into the paint. And I'm just using the Dixie Belle mini brush. So like the first coat, I try to, you know, just get a nice even thin coat, but if I miss a few spots, I'll be going over it with a second coat. Once it starts to dry, I don't want to touch it again too much with the brush because um, you don't want to get like, you don't want it to pull once it's slightly dry. So I just try to keep a nice wet edge and work with that. So it's still kind of wet in the middle so I can just keep moving out from there. But I don't want to get that dragging like streaking pull. So I try to keep it all wet and my next coat, because it's already partially, or it's already mostly sealed, I'll be able, it'll stay wet a little bit longer because it's not soaking into the paint as much and I'll be able to do that one long stroke, like streak free, you know, drag it all the way across. And then same as before, I always just run my finger around the edge. Um, I can do the edges separately and go around and just, you know, really lightly seal those to make sure the paint doesn't come off with the drawers moving in and out. So nice and thin, I just add like the tiniest bit of clear coat and I just get my brush in there, just, just the littlest bit, just the tips of it, you can kind of see. And I did stir it definitely before I opened it. Well, I mean, before I started live, after I opened it, you had to stir without opening it. I'm just doing a nice, thin, even coat. And I'll have to take the drawers out to do all those little edges in there. I don't like to leave the drawers in for that just because you don't want it to beat up in there and stop them from gliding in and out. You know, well, I mean, Dixie Bell dries pretty much the same color as what you're going to see, so there's not a huge difference when you seal it, but it just makes it all finished and looks smooth. And I like sealing them too. And that's actually one of my favorite things about one of the things I like about Dixie Bell as well was the color stays the same as the end result. So in about an hour, I'll be able to go back over this and I'll be able to do a second coat, I'll probably pull the drawers out then. Um, and I usually do three to four coats on my paintings. I'm not even sure. I think they recommend, uh, let's see, reapply for additional um, protection. So they don't really have a particular recommendation for how many coats to do, but I would do at least two. For something like a tabletop, you could use gator hide. Um, that's a really great product for tabletops. It just dries really hard and very durable.
make sure there's no drips by running my finger along there. And that's just about it. I mean, it's already drying in areas where I did like a really thin coat and it dries very matte. So you're not gonna see, um, it's not gonna, it actually almost looks like the chalk paint once it's dry because it dries so matte. So it doesn't have a, a lot of a sheen. I'm a content creator for Dixie Belle and then I'm also a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima. So I did the size of the drawers for a live in the redesign group and they have transfers, of course. Let me get the drawers out a little bit and I'll show you what I did to them. And I added that transfer on there because I wanted something different when you open it up just to be able to see. And this is just like scrap pieces of a transfer. So I just used like the ends. They have, you know, they have that big middle space with all the flowers and then there's more around the edges. So I used those on my drawer sides. The fun of it. And then that is the side of this this piece over here. I did kind of the same sky. I have a little bit more um, flowery fields to work. And for that sky, I just used, it was a pretty wet blend. So lots of water. I'm leaving these out because my edges are st still might be a little tacky and drying. But yeah, that was a quick, <laughs> quick showing you guys how to seal it because that's pretty much what I had planned for my last live today. Um, I think that I'll probably hop on my own page and work on this other blank side. I mean, it's still just the, I started out with just lightly sanding it and then I used boss kind of the, um, to make sure I didn't have any bleed through or anything because it's an older piece. So, all right, you guys, um, I want to say thank you to everybody who kind of came along on this journey with me. It's been really fun for the last five days and um, thanks to Dixie Bell for promoting it and doing the giveaway. You all, you all have a great weekend. Bye.